Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and more. It's week five of this month's Art Journal Frenzy prompt and your challenge this week is texture. I want you to think of, you know, adding um, as much texture to your page as you can in terms of pattern, um, you know, fabrics, textures, washi tapes, um, all of that kind of thing. And again, I'm focusing on things that I don't use very often. I've got lots of stamps that I don't bring out very often. In fact, I think there's a couple here that I have barely used at all. Whoops, one of my hairs is stuck to that. Um, a lot of these I pick up really cheaply from the craft fair I go to at the craft museum and sometimes you know they're in the clearance bin for a pound or what have you and I chuck them in the box when I get home and I forget that I've got them so I'm going to try and use some of those. Um, I also want to try and use some of this um, hessian um, well linen um, ribbon that I used for the collage prompt last week. I've got some hessian here as well and also some of this um, book making um, tape as well that um, I thought would work with the colour scheme that I've got in mind for this week. I've also got um, a few other bits and pieces that I may or may not use. Um, so I'm going to put this onto a mixture of fast forward and I'll do a voiceover if necessary and you know talking to you about what I'm up to throughout um, the video. I just want to add some interest to my background using a couple of stamps. This is a Kaiser Craft dictionary stamp um, and I'm using black archival ink um, to stamp this. The next stamp I use I'm pretty sure is a background stamp by Indigo Blue um, and I'm using a stone grey, in fact I think it's called London Fog, it's a memento ink, um, London Fog. And again I'm just going over the area where I've already stamped, just building up some layers. <laughs> This time I'm using Espresso Truffle which is another memento ink and it's sort of like a mid-brown and the stamp I'm using is another Kaiser Craft stamp called Film Edges. And finally, I'm going back to the archival black and I'm using another one of the background stamps by Indigo Blue. had some uh, picture framing tape hanging around from where I've been um, picture framing some pictures recently and I decided to add some of this to the background because you know why not um, so I'm just tearing it just to make it you know more irregular and adding it to the background um, and I like this because it's translucent so I can see all of that lovely texture from the stamping um, straight through it I'm just adding some texture with some modeling paste. I'm using the leaf stencil that you saw me use a couple of weeks ago. It's by Creative Expressions and the modeling paste I'm using is by Reeves and I quite like this one because I can squeeze it directly from the tube onto my palette um, knife and I just you know end up with far less waste. My modelling paste has had time to dry. You can dry it with a heat tool if you want to. I let mine dry naturally. And I'm just going to use some peerless watercolours. These are a dye-based watercolour, so they're permanent once dry. This set was sent to me by Weenie for Christmas last year. So Weenie, here you go. You can see that I am using it. Um, and today I'm using shades of green and yellow, which was another out-of-your-comfort-zone colour choice that Teresa Morgan suggested a couple of weeks ago.
I want to add another strip of texture with this burlap ribbon, but it's too wide at the moment and needs cutting down. If I glued it on as it is, it would cover up all of the uh, picture framing tape. So I'm just cutting some off the edges and then I um, fray it um, by pulling off some of the strands. And then I thin it out at the ends as well until I end up with a shape that I'm happy with. Now I did say I was going for texture this week so I'm using the crafters workshop stencil here um, just to add a bit more texture with some modelling paste and you can see that I've masked off a few areas as well just so that um, I can focus on the parts that I want. Now you all know that I love using gold in my project so I'm just using some treasure gold on top of the areas where I've added the modelling paste and I just love the finish that this gives. My background needs softening, it's looking too stark and white and I'm using some Distress Ink in frayed burlap which I'm applying with a makeup brush. This is just a cheap makeup brush from the Pound Shop and I find that by applying the ink in this way it just gives a lovely, lovely soft finish and is much more subtle than if you applied it using a blending pad. I'm just applying a bit more of the ink with a blending tool this time just to frame my page. Now 
Now I feel as if something is missing from my page in the bottom right hand corner so I'm using the same Crafters Workshop stencil that I used earlier just to apply some circles with some modelling paste. I've dried the modelling paste with my heat tool and now I'm just adding some treasure gold over the top just to pull the piece together. Now again I'm trying to use things that I've been hoarding for a while and I've got a tin of these gorgeous gift tags by Cavallini and Co. So I've pulled out one of the butterflies. I'm just adding some of that frayed burlap distress ink just to grunge it up slightly um, and then I bend the edges of the, the wings just so that it's not so flat to the page. Then I'm reaching for some of the leftover fibres from the edge of the burlap that I used earlier just to um, add to the to the tag now I just feel as if I could do with a bit of blue in the background just to tie the butterfly to the rest of the page so I'm just having a look at the peerless watercolors to see which color is going to work best and I'm just adding a few splatters just to pull it all together And to finish my page off, I've got a few of those fibres left hanging around, so I've grunged them up a bit with some more of the Distress ink, and I'm just going to glue them down with some um, regular gel medium. This will turn clear once it's dry as well, so although it looks white at the, the moment, once it's dry you, you won't see it. And I just add a little bit more to the back of the bu butterfly and pop it on top. So here's this week's finished art journal page. I'm thrilled to bits with this. I know I always say that, but I am. <laughs> if you don't like your own work, how can you expect anybody else to? Um, so, right, the butterflies. The butterflies came from a gift tag set by Cavallini & Co. I got mine on eBay and this is just full of but gorgeous gorgeous butterfly tags i mean they're they're just beautiful and i thought these would be lovely for using you know in journals so that's where they came from um, i also want to talk to you about the brush that i used for applying my distress ink um, it just gives a much much softer finish than if you're using a blending tool you could see where i added um, the darker finish around the edges with the blending tool but this just gives you a much 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 softer finish um, i've used that technique um, before in this page which is actually very similar in style to this one here um, the bird and the feather in this one um, came from wallpaper samples um, but you can see where I'd used the brush it was this one here that I used for this around the edges but I didn't want to use this again because of course I'd used blue distress ink and um, you know I didn't want to end up with blue on my page although having said that it would have worked really nicely because I've got blue in my butterfly but this is just a makeup brush that I picked up from on the pound shop I picked up I think two of them um, I must pick up some more and again I picked them up with this in mind and it works beautifully there are companies selling um, distress ink blending um, brushes and they cost an arm and a leg and you know a 
paint uh, a makeup brush from the pan shop will do exactly the same job for you so you know something to bear in oh, mind i just want to show you something i'm back the following day ever since we did the prompt a couple of weeks ago use colors outside of your comfort comfort zone it's made me very very aware of my color choices um, and i'm trying desperately hard to use colors off the list that you know all of your suggestions that you left in the message in in the group um, the color choice here was prompted by Teresa Morgan she'd said that she'd like to see me do something in green and yellow so that's what's inspired um, this um, but quite a few of you have asked me to do pages in browns br browns and blacks and brown black and gray is another one that was suggested as well and as I was editing the video I realized how much I liked the page before I had actually added the green and yellow watercolor so I've done another page today let me show you I created this page here um, and I've done it in exactly the same way um, but instead of adding the leaf stencil um, I've added some squares I used the Dina Wakely um, paint comb squares and then I painted them gold added some treasure gold for some highlights I used some modeling paste on the edge of a spatula just to add some texture to the burlap and then I've just added a Tim Holtz um, paper doll and of course the quote curiosity use your imagination because of course this was born out of me being curious so let me just show you what they look like side by side and both of these pages are you know colors that I wouldn't ordinarily choose and I just love them both um, so so I shall have both of these pages in my journal, not side by side because they don't line up and that will really, really bug me. So I shall um, pop this one onto the, the next page. Um, so the prompt, as I say, for this week is texture. But I also want you to think about having some white space in your pages. I just love the white space that I've got going on here. And I know that white space for some of you is something that you find really quite intimidating and difficult. And, you know, I used to too, but I also think that it's really effective so if you can bear to do it I'd like to see some white space this week um if you enjoyed what I've done here, as always, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and do let me know what you think in the comments below. And take care, everyone. I'll see you all again soon. And for anybody who would like to join in with our weekly prompts, I'll leave the link to our Facebook group in the description box below. It's Nina Rybina's Art Journal Prompts and More. Um, and if there are any chaps watching this video and you're interested in joining as well, you know, don't be put off because we've got quite a few gentlemen um, in the group now as it is. So as I say, take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.